I'm here with Jasmine Sharrett um, from the Early Intervention Team. Can you introduce yourself and um, what, what your job is? Yeah, so I'm an occupational therapist. I work with people from 14 to 64 with first episode psychosis. And we've done a cooking assessment today um, just to try and see what this person's level of functioning is and how much support you might need in the community. Um, how, did you, how did you think today was going to go? person so from initial interview with this client I did think that he had quite a few grandiose ideas um I thought initially that he probably didn't have the skills that he said he did which was quite bad of me reflecting on it now um yeah I was a bit concerned that he had all these ideas and he didn't really have a good awareness of his own abilities um but from the cooking assessment it's been a lot different so how did today go um fabulous (laughs) um I think he shocked us all really he went into Tesco um, and he had a budget of £5 and he stuck with it. He got to £4.31, I think it was. Um, he was able to find everything independently, he asked a few questions. Um, he was polite, pleasant, paid for items well. Uh, we went, then went into the kitchen um, and he made meatballs, I think better than any of us could. Um, he made pasta with it, he put all the different ingredients in, spices. Um, really good memory was demonstrated. He had a really good awareness of what to do. Um, yeah, I think he's shocked us all, really. Really, really good. So in terms of so what, what will be the outcome of today's um, assessment? Um, so from the assessment, I'm going to write a little bit of a report to just document what we've, what, what we've observed in the assessment, um, kind of show where he's got really good skills in different areas and how these can be transferred into um, living independently um, and, and other kind of processing skills that he's demonstrated um, so that'll go into a report, which I'll share with the care team, and then hopefully that'll help him in um, getting his own accommodation and kind of identifying what support he might need in the future. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.